Okay, this is the uh, Mutant Donkey Twitch right now, and uh, I'm gonna run you guys through a quick walk through um, of the fancy peasant in on SketchUp. Let me make sure I got everything pulled out correctly. Yep, here we go. I think we're on. We're good. Um. Hmm, okay, so here we go. This is basically the board that has all the images from the fancy peasant in. Uh, this is for the Mutant Donkey Pat Patreon page. Uh, we have a first floor plan here, we have a second floor plan there, a roof plan here, everything's keynoted with all the different rooms and things. Uh, then we have a we have a front elevation, a back elevation, and two side elevations. So what's supposed to look like? These drawings were generated using CAD and then, then Photoshop. Um, and they come from, let me see, this is the CAD right here. The plants are made here in CAD and we have a grid. First floor, second floor, roof plan. And then the elevations are here. I do have one section right there. I actually made pr furniture for this thing, but it's only 2D. I haven't made the furniture yet in 3D. Um, although the building is actually in 3D now, and that's why I'm excited to show you guys the actual building. So we can minimize this for a second. Uh, and then let's open up a couple of... Let me see. I'm uh, opening up some larger versions of this. So this is the first floor plan and this was uh, done in Photoshop with the grid here for use in, in your role playing campaign, whether it be D&D or whatever uh, your flavor is. Um, this is kind of like the side out here. Let me see, that's first floor. This is second floor right here. So this grid is five feet by five feet. Um, which is one inch. If you print it full scale, it be one inch equals uh, five feet. So each square is going to be one inch. Any one inch represents five feet in the game. Um, there we go. An example of the main elevation is here. So that's the front elevation. I just added this foliage in the background because I thought it looked cool. But anyway, that's not really what I'm here to show you. I'm here to show you the 3D model. So let's check it out. This is the fancy person in the in SketchUp. This is the model right here. So let me twist it around a bit. I used uh, all the the exact dimensions from the CAD files that I came up with. This is completely original content. There is nothing copied from anything. Uh, with the exception of these patterns are from SketchUp. This came with a program, so these patterns are just applied, you know, like the stucco and the stuff. But everything else is 100% uh, original design, including the logo for the Pansy Peasant Inn, which is a bow tie with a hoe and a pitchfork. Right there. So this is an architectural model. It serves fantasy purposes or medieval purposes for gaming. Uh, but it is also has the advantage that it's architecturally accurate. So, um, what do I mean by that? Well, I guess uh, I can just show you. Let's go ahead and hide the roof. There's actual structure in here. This building is... This building could be built, basically. Obviously, I just have the main members. I don't have... Here, there will be like a bunch of little members. Uh, to support the individual tiles and everything, I just have the overall. I, it would get too BC if I put every little stick in here. So generally speaking, this building will stand up as shown, basically, with heavy timber construction and wattle and dub for the areas in between the walls that are not load bearing. Um, so if we look here, we can also hide this and show you this side as well okay but I think where it really shines is when I show you the section cuts which I will do right now let me see 
Let's show the hidden geometry, select that, unhide this stuff, and now let's go ahead and view the section planes and the section cuts. Okay, so you have two section cuts. Right now I have this section right here, so I will grab it. So as I move it, this is going to cut through the model, so it will let you see how the model is built. Um, you just grab it up here and you drag. Okay, you notice that is dynamic. So you can see that there is a spiral staircase right there. Oops, hold on. Let me grab this from a different place. Probably down here. It'd be easier. There we go. Okay, so let's go slow. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. Okay. So we go through the front door right here. There's a spiral staircase. So this would be like the main the main tavern. So the tavern, the tavern portion of the inn actually is two floors. And it has a fireplace which services both floors as well. You can see it there. On the side you have a little storage area which just happens to have an old well in certain houses and old construction. Uh, the wells used to be outside, but then sometimes you build your house around the area where the well was and you enclose the well for privacy. Um, there you have the well. And you storage some things there. So as we move back, you can see the structure of the roof, the walls. There's the two bars. There's a downstairs bar and an upstairs bar. As you keep moving back, you see a little commode on the lower right as I'm cutting through. That's just a little latrine thing. You can see there's a little hole there. Then we keep going here and then we cut through the other stairs. We have steps here, rooms on the bottom, and then you have rooms on the top. And that's what that is. So I'm just cutting. Let me move sideways maybe. Yeah, let me move sideways. Move this thing this way. There we go. So slowly we're cutting through this building and you can see all the beams right there. Outside beams, interior beams, interior rooms, staircase. There's a second fireplace in the distance. The bottom part of it is a kitchen. The top part of it is kind of like a... It's the equivalent to the family room. If this were to be a bed and breakfast kind of inn, that would be the top, the top place in the fireplace for that. And then you can see the wood trusses. You see that this space is open to the to the ceiling trusses. Uh, but each the rooms have their individual ceilings for privacy and noise. So that's that section going in that direction. I can also move to the back and see that there's a ramp for loading. This is not an accessible ramp in terms of like Americans with disabilities. The ramp is a little bit too steep for that because it's medieval times for fantasy, you know, that stuff was not really designed that way. Uh, it's more designed for del deliveries, like big big items, like you have a wheelbarrow and then you just put your stuff in there. So there you go. Uh, I'm going to switch now to the other section, so we can look at things in plan. Ugh. Okay. There we go. So let me move this back here. And then we're going to select the other section cut right here. And we'll move it down. So this is from the top down now. Let me see if I can... There you go. I just want to zoom in a little bit more. Somewhat of a perspective, so here we go. We go up, we go up, we go up. So the fireplaces, the, the chimney is going to start to disappear little by little. And then you get the roof, the two separate roofs. And then there's the trusses giving away, this, the, the other fireplace. And you can look down into what is basically a floor plan for the second floor. So that's the floor plan for the second floor. right there. So I'm going to go below 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 the ceiling so you can see the actual rooms. So 
So that's the floor plan for the second floor. You see the stairs here. The main entrance is here. So you can go in the main entrance and take the spiral staircase to get up here. You can move through here, get to the communal room right here. There's a banquet hall here for special invitations for like priority guests. So the upstairs is more priority guests and the downstairs is general population basically. There's a couple of commodes right here. I haven't actually drawn them in here, but that's where the latrines on the second floor are with a little... There's going to be some scuppers here that go down, where the stuff just drains off of the side. You notice this room and that room, they don't have access. That's because those are secret rooms. Uh, the premise is that this inn is owned by a merchant, maybe a rich merchant. That's why it's a fancy peasant. and. Uh, the fancy peasant manager has probably two rooms that are that have secret doors where you can stash your treasure or whatever. Let's say that the owner is a rich adventurer and though so he or she comes back from their adventures and uh, puts all the riches in these two rooms. So you got communal area, fancy rooms, main dining hall. This would have a long table right there. You can see it on the cat file because I actually did all the furniture in the cat file. So it would have this long table kind of like a hall for like a long hall basically viking style you have a long table and people celebrating uh, you can see that the, the two secret rooms the secret rooms here secret rooms there with chests and barrels full of silk or whatever you want treasure to be there's also furniture here this is a latrines on the second floor And then uh, we can keep moving down. Really, this is the second floor bar, the upper tavern. If we move it around a bit, you can see there's a stage right there for a bar, the occasional bar to come in and entertain. So you could see that the second floor of this place is more VIP. Not unlike a lot of the nightclubs in certain cities that have a second floor that's VIP. Um, this would be for preferred guests. So let's move farther down so we move down and we go to the to the first floor so you see that all this is structure so all the structure has been modeled into this thing so basically you can build it this way so you have the series of beams and a series of joists basically supporting the weight because there's going to be a lot of weight for people and furniture on this floor. Now if you look at the higher up at the trusses, you notice there's not as many cross beams here because you all you're doing is supporting the weight of the roof. You're not supporting the weight of people or furniture on the roof. So in essence in a building in general, the higher you go, the lighter the structure gets, not the heavier. Especially with all kind of construction, you have to do that. Nowadays we have steel and we don't have to worry about that stuff as much, but back then you really have to minimize your materials the higher you want but because there's a lot of live load here on the second floor so you need a lot of beams and you need a lot of joists to carry all that load so that's why there's a ton of joists here and now you go down and you can see the stairs now you can't okay let me do it here there we go and uh, let's undo this section section plane so you can see it better so now this is a little bit easier to see okay so you come through the entrance here there's the spiral staircase there's a fireplace right here there's a bar right there there's some shelves back there where they're supposed to be I didn't model them because I'm just modeling the building right now but if you look at the drawing, there's a section in which you can see there's shelving back there with a bunch of bottles and things there's supposed to be. So that would be this wall back here. There's a door behind the bar where there's access to the kitchen so that when people order food from this tavern side, the um, the kitchen can prepare the food, you come in through this door and you go up. Uh, similarly, if there's food ordered upstairs, you can go from here, go out this door, go up the stairs and deliver the food upstairs. So, 
and there's this main corridor that goes through to the back exit to the loading area the loading area is obviously close to the kitchen because that's where most of the stuff goes in to the kitchen and then you have the main guest rooms here so there's one two three four five six seven eight guest rooms at the bottom and these two are actually bathing rooms and because uh, most inns, most medieval inns that I see, like on Dungeons and Dragons and stuff, people don't think that to put like places for people to get cleaned up. Uh, although I imagine they can just bring a bathtub over to your room. But uh, on this plan, for example, this is the first floor plan. I have these two rooms are the bathing rooms, uh, men's and women's. And then you have buckets and you have uh, tubs. You can just get in there, they, they bring hot water to you from the kitchen. So kitchen's over there, so they come over here and they bring you hot water and they put it on on there. So so same thing here, here's the kitchen. You come through this door, you come around there. There's gonna be some benches here so people can lounge and chat while they're getting dried up or whatever, you know, just hanging out. Uh, of course we put some windows. Because of the nature of structures back then, you couldn't do the whole thing as a window because you need supports. That's why there's supports here. And there's a strong frame around the window that actually carries the load down. Uh, carries the load around the window. And uh, let's see. I think that's pretty much it, except with this room where the well is. And then there's your latrine right there for the tavern customers. This well obviously would have a lead during business hours. You don't want people con cross contaminating stuff. They make uh, this lids and you can put it on a well and you can lock it. And that way only people that are part of the kitchen staff and people can use this well. It can't be contaminated because that'd just be too easy for anybody to come here and just throw poison or throw crap in there. That would be bad. Very bad. Uh, and then you would have some barrels and some storage stuff here. Um, you notice that this is l this goes lower this doesn't share the foundation so this whole thing is on a stone foundation that keeps it elevated safe from flooding and safe from the earth and vermin or whatever um, and uh, I think that's pretty much it I'm just gonna elevate the whole thing again I'm just gonna grab my plane again and move it back up I'm grabbing the wrong thing. There we go. So we just move it up. And this is this is a fancy peasant in. This uh, file, SketchUp can generate a file that can be sent to a 3D printer. That's all part of for the Patreon. And uh, if you wanted to have a model where you could actually see the inside, I would 3D print each level separately. I would isolate the first floor, print that up to here, and then I would isolate the second floor, print that up to like, well, maybe right there and then I would isolate the roof and then print that so if you print the three pieces separately then you can just stack them and then you, whenever you want you can just open it up you can move the pieces up on the model the way that I'm doing here so you can actually see inside if you're actually using this model for gaming and stuff or for decoration you can show your friends you know uh, you can show them the model and then you can take the model apart floor by floor and show them the interior so I think that's pretty interesting so anyway, just having fun. My next project is going to be the elf tower. I designed an elven tower and I think I have it here somewhere. Let me see. Bear with me while I get the elven tower. Um, so I think I'm going to do the elven tower next on um, 3D. I wanted to try something orthogonal, a little bit simpler like this project, so that I can tackle something like the Elven Tower, which is 
let me see if this opens. This is the Elven Tower, just a just a cat file, just a PDF file. So, and here you can see the different floors of the Elven Tower drawn, and a little section here through it. So that's going to be the next 3D project, I think. Uh, Elven Tower layout, I think I did a layout for this. And I don't know why it's fussy. Let me try that again. There we go. So this is that, but you know, I, I kind of colored it in and put some fonts and stuff. So that's that's your Elven Tower. I would be, I think it would be cool to have this thing as a 3D model. So this thing I may actually print myself and then show at some point using my camera. Once I have the physical model. So there you go. Well, I guess that's all for now. And uh, if anybody wants to contact the Patreon, the Patreon is. Uh, what is it? Patreon forward slash mutant donkey. If you guys want to drop me a note or follow me there, uh, just let me know what interests you guys, uh, what you, what you guys would like done. And basically, like I say on my introduction, sky is the limit. Anything that you guys want. Uh, this thing represents about maybe 20 hours of work, give or take. It was my first time using SketchUp. I normally use 3D Studio and Lightscape in the past. I guess people are going to SketchUp because it's easier and it's definitely very intuitive, a lot easier to use. Not as powerful, you have to get like an additional program to do really good renderings. This is not a really good rendering, this is just a basic SketchUp rendering. There's nothing special about this thing. Uh, but if you want photorealistic renderings, you gotta buy like a $700. The thing is called like V-Ray to get really good rendering. So I'm just using the basic materials that are here. So, no big deal. Okay. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm signing off for now. And just let me know if whatever you guys want. Thank you. <laughs>